सो हे गाइज दिस इज दैंड लेटर स्टार्टिंग अप विथ अ न्यू सीरीज ऑफ साइकोलॉजिकल फैक्ट्स फॉर लाइफ हैक एंड दे आर थर्टी थ्री डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स एंड ईच टॉपिक कंटेंट्स थर्टी थ्री डिफरेंट फैक्ट्स इन इट सो ईच वीडियो विल कवर सिंगल टॉपिक एंड दे विल ऑल्सो बी अ बोनस फैक्ट ऑन डिफरेंट थिंग्स लाइक वॉट इज द नंबर ऑफ मेगा पिक्सल्स इन यू आईज और वॉट इज योर रेट जनरल रेट ऑफ आई क्यू एक्सेट्रा एंड टू डेज बोनस फैक्ट विल बी वॉट इज द नंबर ऑफ मेगा पिक्सल्स इन यू आईज सो स्टे टू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड ऑल्सो डाउनलोड द ऐप Fact number one: Controlling facial muscles can help control your anger. Studies have shown that if you don't frown when you're angry, you won't feel the emotion in much intensity. Anger is more than just an emotion; it actually has physiological effects that occur alongside of it. These range from racing heartbeats, sweating, and increasing blood pressure. Fact number three: It's not as simple as just being either angry or not. It's a bit more complicated than that. Think of it as if on a scale, there are varying degrees of anger, ranging from annoyed to rage. Fact number four: It's usually some outside factor that you feel leads you to becoming angry. However, there are many factors that can make you more susceptible to feeling that anger. There are things such as hunger, heat, exhaustion, re- dehydration, or the circumstances of annoyance. Fact number five. One thing that has been shown to consistently combat anger is humor. Not only do people enjoy humor, but it breaks the tension and stress caused by feeling angry and refocuses it on something less uh, physiological taxing. Anger, at least in Western culture, is largely thought of more of a masculine emotion. Because of this, girls and boys are taught differing stances when it comes to handling their anger. Men tend to express their anger physically and impulsively, whereas women tend to resentful and emotionally. We mentioned earlier that anger is linked to other physiological reactions. In the same bucket, uncontrolled anger and outbursts that become out of hand have been linked to a side effect as severe as stroke or heart attack. Fact number eight: Pain alone is not enough to cause anger. Anger occurs when pain is combined with some anger-triggering thought. Thoughts that can trigger anger include personal assessments, assumptions, evaluations, or interpretations of situations that make people think that someone else is attempting to hurt them. Anger produces more muscle tension, higher blood pressure, and a lower heart rate. Fact eleven. It is more satisfying to feel angry than to acknowledge the painful feelings associated with vulnerability. You can use anger to convert feelings of vulnerability and helplessness into feelings of control and conscious habit of transforming almost all their vulnerable feelings into anger so they can avoid having to deal with them. Fact 14. Anger cannot make pain disappear. It only distracts you from it. Anger generally does not resolve or address the problems that make you feel fearful or vulnerable in the first place and it can create new problems including social and health issues. Justified or unjustified the side the feeling of righteousness associated with anger offers a powerful temporary boost to self esteem anger can also be a substitute emotion by this we mean that sometimes people make themselves angry so that they don't have to feel pain people change their feelings of pain into anger because it feels better to be angry than it does to be in pain this change of pain into anger may be done consciously or unconsciously better angry rather than simply in pain has a number of advantages primarily among them distraction people in pain generally think about their pain However, angry people think about harming those who have caused pain. Part of the transmutation of pain into anger involves an attention shift from self-focus to other focus. Anger temporarily protects people from having to recognize and deal with their painful real feelings. You get to worry about getting back at the people you are angry. Being yourself angry can help you to hide the reality that you find a situation frightening or that you feel vulnerable. Anger is a natural and mostly automatic response to pain of one form or another. Anger can occur when people don't feel well, feel rejected, feel threatened or experience some loss. Matter. The important thing is that the pain experienced is unpleasant. The 
because anger never occurs in isolation but rather is necessarily visited by pain feelings it is often characterized as a second hand emotion angry people most always feel that their anger is justified however other people don't always agree the social judgment of anger creates real consequences for the angry person anger is an emotion characterized by antagonism towards someone or something you feel has deliberately done you wrong anger can be a good thing it can give you a way to express negative feelings for example or motivate you to find solutions to problems excessive anger can cause problems increased blood pressure and other physical changes associated with anger make it difficult to think straight and harm your physical and mental health anger is a social emotion you always have a target that your anger is directed against feelings of pain combined with anger triggering thoughts motivate you to take action face threats and defend yourself by striking out against the target you think is causing you pain The best way to deal with anger is through choiceless awareness basically being aware of your anger and not judging it but not exerting it in any way either however if you are expressing it probably better through masculinity was challenged men reacted with more anger and with an increased endorsement of social dominance over women men who have low levels of testosterone served as a threat to masculinity and led to engagement in more gender stereotypical behaviors like getting into physical fights and anger Meanwhile, men who were told that they had high testosterone levels were more likely to support gender equality and more likely to engage in stereotypical feminine works like caretaking or doing housework and don't show aggression easily. The resolution of the human eye is 576 megapixels. The average human retina has 5 million cone receptors on it. Since the cones are responsible for color vision, you might suppose that this equates to 500 megapixels equivalent for the human eye. For more quotes, facts and also authentic cars and bikes photos and also ultra HD wallpapers, follow us on Instagram. And also download the app using which we are making this psychological facts videos. The link is in description for it.